because you know i need i need my job as a nurse practitioner so i can get that sh money <laughs> Hi, you guys, and welcome back to Jenny's Journey. Happy Saturday. Um, I get to spend all day studying for my comprehensive exam that I have to take on November 23rd. So I need to make sure I am prepared. And yeah, my clubhouse is open to six. The study plan that I have for myself is to study from actually 10 to seven. Hopefully today, 10 to seven. Um, I purchased a review course from the Pediatric Nurse Practitioner Association. Our national organization had a, um, they had a review course from um, March that just passed at a discounted price. So I purchased that so that I can do that and get that practice. And I also will be taking another review course in January. Your girl is trying to make sure she passed the boards on the very first go around because, you know, I need... I need my job as a nurse practitioner so I can get that sh money. <laughs> Anywho, I know, lame. But we're here. We're at our clubhouse, which is, I love it. It's so beautiful. Um, I got some good little footage for you to show you. But yeah, we're going to study and eat and study some more and do it again tomorrow. And then the next day. And then I'll eventually go to work in clinical sometime this week too. <laughs> anyway. Hope you guys have an amazing Saturday, and I will see you later. out to me um in my instagram dm asking me if it's necessary to have both an ipad and a computer as you can see here i use both um my ipad i use as an electronic notebook as you guys know i am an e-student and um I like to use my iPad so that I can help save trees or else I would be printing out rings upon rings of paper um, for notes and lectures and things as such. So I just have them all in my electronic or digital notebook, um, if you would say. Um, and I use the Notability app, as you guys have seen before, and that's my yummy avocado toast. It was so good. But yes, um, it's not necessary, but for me, I like to use both. Different environment. Yes, I am back home. <laughs> but I did spend five hours in the clubhouse studying today, so I'm so proud of myself. I only have two more modules to do today, and that is um, immunizations and GIGU. And I'm going to take a little break, and I'll finish that tonight, and that way I can complete all of day two and the mock test either tomorrow or on Monday. So, and I also wanted to get me some po po. Got me a little barbacoa bowl, and I am gonna eat. I'm gonna, you know, take a little break, and then I'm gonna go back to studying. So, I see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Ooh, focus, focus maybe focus there it is good morning so at the eight last night i really actually didn't do much i did not go back and um i did not go back and finish um those actually last three modules so because i'm breaking it up in three days it'll be fine it'll get done um uh, i'm getting ready to i slept in this morning i slept until 10 that's pretty late right now it's 11 so i'm getting ready to have lunch because i didn't eat breakfast this morning i want to get up work out do my hosties but that is not how my morning went and that's okay today's um to do this is i need to clean but 
that's neither here nor there um just eat study study eat <laughs> um as i'm going through the content i'm making a list of pitmonics that i want to go through because as i take um my mock comprehend um as i take my mock boards um that we've been taking um it really helps me when i can visualize a pitmonic so um, i'm going to go through um and keep making my list of pitmonics that i want to review and then we will um eventually get to those this week or you know just some time during studying as I prepare for boards um yeah so um today study eat study um I need to make a meal today from hello fresh is it hello fresh yeah hello fresh I usually sometimes use home chef too so but I've been using hello fresh for the last two months now I go in and out of using it and I'll leave uh, my discount code below if you guys would like to try it out. So yeah, um, that's our plans for today. Nothing big, nothing major. I am actually, that's what I want to say. I want to stay home today. Um, it was nice to like, get out the house and study in the clubhouse, but because I slept in today and I'm still kind of tired and drowsy i'm just gonna stay home and i was getting hungry and thirsty while i was sitting over there and i don't didn't um pack like a lunchbox or anything like that so i want to be able to have access to drinks and snacks not that i have many snacks actually because i think i ate all my kind bars <laughs> oh my co-worker back text me back um about a, a shift swap so pearl of the day um nurses are self-scheduling okay so um my co-worker just texting back that she could do a ship um swap with me so our our newest schedule just came out and um so what i was going to say is nurses most hospitals are self-scheduling and i say self-scheduling with air quotation marks because um, <laughs> um, you put yourself on the schedule the days you would like to work, basically. So these are the days that you are, are requesting to work, um, not necessarily the days you will work. Um, and it depends on if, you know, when you go to put your schedule in. Um, the way we're still doing our schedule is we have first, second, third sign up. So if you sign up first, um, there's a possibility that you won't get your schedule moved at all because you were first to sign up this um, go around and it does rotate every schedule and so on and so forth. So second sign up, you probably might get one to do two days um, change here, third sign up. If you're third sign up, you really should put yourself in the holes, which means you are just giving yourself a crappy schedule because you're making sure the unit has sufficient coverage. And if anyone needs to be moved, they typically are supposed to start with third and second sign up um, to move those people because I mean, that's kind of the benefit of being first sign up. So, um, and first sign up rotating. So that means at least, you know, once every few schedules you can get a schedule that you will want to work without your schedule being moved um but that's sometimes not how it goes um sometimes everybody has to be moved um just to make the um needs of the unit work and um i needed to swap a day um a monday that i'm doing my photo shoot and by the time you guys see this of the photo shoot will be the next week. So I am doing my graduation um, pictures, my graduation photo shoot. Of course I'm vlogging and it's actually gonna be Vlogmas day one. <laughs> Who's ready for Vlogmas? I am. I don't know, I'm trying. I wanna try Vlogmas. We'll see how many of the 25 days I vlog, we'll see. But um, yeah, so I was just, I'm happy she could do the switch. It's so hard because once the schedule is posted, like it's hard to find, um, it's hard to find people that you can switch with. Oh, but it's, yeah, it's just hard to find people that you can switch with because I mean, by the time the schedule comes out and you're hoping that you got your schedule, you've probably already made plans. So, and a lot of my coworkers have kids and they can't, you know, 
kids have things they have to do, they have to schedule. So, and I get it, like everyone can't switch and, but I hate, like I don't wanna call out if I don't. Um, I don't like to call out if I don't have to. Oh yeah, this could all be over. We're not okay. Shattered glass everywhere. Tears of rage. Waiting for the rain to stop and take my pain away. Why'd you have to be that mean? Why'd you do me that way? We should know that we won't be any better. Can't you see that we are drifting apart? It's dark. I could turn the light on, but I'm being lazy. But I did uh, want to show you guys my vest. Okay, I'll at least turn you guys this way so you can see me better. It is pretty dark. <laughs> it looks like it's about to rain again. I got this cute little vest. Don't ask me which website. I just randomly did a buffalo plaid print um, search and um, found this cute little number. Um, we are taking our Christmas family pictures. Um, if you so we're gonna be wearing buffalo plaid print this year in our family pictures. I try to get us together at least once a year. Actually, we did get together this year. Um, unfortunately, my grandfather passed away from COVID and um, we all had to come to town for his funeral. And we did take some pictures, some black and white pictures, and I'll insert them here. They were really, really nice. I um, usually take them all, or we take turns rotating with the phone, and then we find some random stranger. But this time, did I have my tripod? No, but this um, for Christmas, I will have my tripod, and I'll take all of our pictures. Um, anywho. This vest is so cute and I'm obsessed with buffalo plaid print, which is why I wanted to do it this year. I know it doesn't go with anything that I have on now, but you guys will see. Um, I'll insert also some previous Christmas pictures. I hosted Christmas at my house. Um, ooh, three Christmases ago now? Four Christmases ago? I think three. And I'll insert pictures here. We wore elves and then we wore white and denim. And then last year, family pictures um, around Thanksgiving was um, mustard, yellow, burgundy, gray, and dark denim. And I'll insert those pictures here too. They were so cute. Um, today's not gonna be much, so that's all I really want. Just come on here really quick, just to show you guys this little vest. It's so cute and it has pockets, because every girl is obsessed with pockets, right? And um, yeah, I was just sitting here looking at dinner. I want to show you guys, because actually, um, last night and this morning i was watching some christmas um youtube vlogs i'm like oh my gosh i'm so ready for christmas now actually i want to stop studying and watch just a bunch of christmas vlogs but that's not the responsible thing to do now is it <laughs> uh, examination It's five hours later and I am, I'm done for the day. I'm tired, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm just done for the day. As you can tell, it's getting not too, too dark, but it's much darker than it was before because it was actually a pretty bright and beautiful day. Sun was out, clouds were out and beautiful, but we are getting ready to make pork and caramelized pineapple tacos yeah probably not putting those radishes on my own tacos but yeah so i'm getting ready to make a dinner and i will see you guys when i'm done good morning as you can see it's a new day <laughs> 
new attire. How are you guys today? So, as always, <laughs> I'm not gonna say as always, but to continue on with um, what's been going on this week is what? More studying, boom, boom. <laughs> Yeah, um, I actually was blessed to have a few days off and I'm really just gonna take advantage of this time because this comprehensive exam that I have to take in two weeks, um, we have to pass it in order to pass the program. So yeah, I mean, that's why I'm kind of like putting a lot of pressure on myself because if I don't pass it, then I don't pass the program. And then these last two years of work would have been for what? You guessed it, nothing. So, um, yeah, um, I'm just gonna finish that nap nap review today. Hopefully I get through the entire review and then I'm able to take the mock test and then um, later this week um, go on to studying those pick monics um, so that I can have that visual component um, while I'm taking the test. Um, if you don't know and you're new here, I am a visual learner um, and so just, Memor I'm not memorizing, but um, being able to recall the pictures that go along with the information really helps me out a lot, um, which is why like, I use a lot of colors when I, um, when I take notes and write and highlight and things like that. Um, so yeah, I am, it is now 10 o'clock. I have to work tomorrow, so I can't really be dilly-dallying along today. I really need to study. Um, take advantage of the time because I have to go to bed early tonight because um, I get up pretty early for work as you've guys seen in some of my days in the life or weeks in the life um, yeah I get up at about 4 45 5 and yeah I don't care how much sleep I get I hate getting up there early <laughs> Try not to sound like all tired and asleep, but I can't help it. I am tired and sleepy. I've pretty much been up since four o'clock this morning. I couldn't go back to sleep uh, because my stomach was hurting. So yeah, anywho. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. Happy 
Tuesday. Um, I'm at work, of course, which is why I'm in my scrubs and I'm up so early. Speaking of, let me make sure I have my badge. Um, today, nothing really exciting going on. I don't know what I got so excited about. Oh, but today I do have a test. Um, um, my last test, well, one of my last tests um, in this class is on adolescents and um, STIs and things that adolescents deal with, risky behavior, um, things like that. Um, and risky behavior includes um, partaking in sex, drinking, drugs, and things like that. So just um, how to treat the adolescent population. So I have um, a test that I have to take. I have to take it tonight because it's due at 8 o'clock in the morning, meaning it closes at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. It doesn't open until 8 today, so I couldn't took I couldn't have taken it before I came to work because it's 6 o'clock now. Um Yeah, I'm just I'm really tired, honestly, because I tossed a turn all night and I didn't really sleep well. So today is gonna be a long day. But I did just want to come on here and check in. <laughs> Make sure you're following me over on Janine's Journey on Instagram. New video going live today at 9 a.m. as always. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have much to say besides good morning. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm exhausted. I'm extremely exhausted. Partially because I'm burnt out between work and school and clinical every single day of the week so so i'll see you guys later what's up hi you guys um so today what was of course, extremely long. It is now eight o'clock and I am now home. I guess that's good. Sometimes I get home later than that. But anyway, today was pretty good. We started off with seven patients on our floor. Four patients in our PICU. So it was me and another nurse on the floor today. And what did I have? I had just some bacteremia. I had um, possible appendicitis that was not appendicitis. And then a peritonsillar abscess that was I incis incised and drained. So IND incision to drainage. Um, yeah, I had a pretty good day today. Um, not a bunch of admissions um, for pediatrics. We kind of dumped out most of our kids today. When we say dump out, like we discharged a bunch of kids. And I ended up with one. And then my um, coworker, she ended up with one patient too. Um, so today was a really, um, it was busy at first, but very good and eventful day. Um, I almost forgot, not almost forgot. I did forget I was vlogging until I saw my camera. Um, so I saw my camera in the door of my car. I was like, oh shoot. I was supposed to vlog today, but I was kind of just busy throughout the day. Um, like I said, with a bunch of discharges um, earlier in the day. Um, but today, or right now, tonight, we also have a test. And I know it's like, girl, you worked all day and you gotta come home and take a test. Such is the life of a working nurse and a nurse practitioner student. So I do have, um, um, an exam tonight and then I have an exam next week, but I see the hearing right there um, I have an exam tonight that's due by 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I think I told you guys this morning Sorry, I keep like Messing with my hair because it's like I look like a little boy <laughs> Like an adolescent boy and my um, test is on adolescence, but anywho, um, I have a test tonight um, and I think I told you guys to open at eight o'clock this morning, so I couldn't do it before I uh, went to work. I would have to do it when I got off work. And so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna eat dinner. I picked me up a salad from Chick-fil-A because my HelloFresh actually. <sighs> um, I don't think my HelloFresh box is here and they only have like until eight. I think I already set the alarm. I don't even know. I think I, um, 
yeah so my box is not here yet um which is a no so i figured out what i wanted to do <laughs> and i was actually getting ready to go upstairs and shower even before i eat um and then i guess what came my hello fresh box came in the mail as soon as i was getting ready to go upstairs and shower so perfect timing so let's see um what meals i got Ooh, 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 ooh. So we got some toasted coconuts and poro shrimp. Oh, that's gonna be real bomb. I think I'm gonna make that tomorrow because it's gonna take about 45 minutes to make it and I'm off tomorrow. And then, oh, I love Gouda Vibes Burgers. Um, This is gonna be good too. And then, ooh, chicken over garlic parmesan spaghetti. Oh, it looks like we got some, is that tomatoes or peppers? Roasted tomatoes with Tuscan roasted tomato. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. So, these are my meals for this week. Um, once again, if you guys are interested in getting or trying out HelloFresh, I will leave um, my discount code in the description box. That way you can save and enjoy these really yummy meals because, hey, oh, I'm about to tear these down. My lighting was off, but anyway, um, I'm done with my test. I made a 92, missed two questions. And I always beat myself up anytime I don't do as good as I wanna do, but I actually, I did pretty good today. <laughs> um, I mean, I only missed two questions. So, um, I've showered. I've ate, I've taken my test, and that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is another study day, literally all day study day. I need to finish that nap nap review course, and then I'm going to take my practice exam. And then, once I get through that course, I'm actually gonna just take, you know, take a breather or whatever. But, um, yeah. We're done for tonight, and I will see you guys in the Mayana. Bye. walk over there and look at the Christmas trees but I don't know if they're open yet I was gonna get a live Christmas tree but I low-key not low-key but I just bought a flocked Christmas tree the artificial one but now I kind of want to look at the real Christmas trees but they're not open so they're just putting them all in there and they look all big and fluffy too <laughs> oh, I look a mess. But good morning, or actually good afternoon. I got a late start today, but nonetheless, a start. I'm up. I'm moving. I'm going. wasn't feel, wasn't feeling um, good this morning, so I laid in bed a little bit longer. So today, um, nothing really exciting going on today. But you guessed it. What studying? Um, so I am going to finish that nap nap review course and take my um, test today. Um, as you guys saw last night, I had a test in class and it went really well actually so I'm, I'm very happy about that I just want to take advantage of all my days off and make sure I'm studying um, so that I can pass the boards on the first go-around when I do take it so 
um i am going to eat even though i don't really feel like eating but um i don't have a choice <laughs> i need to eat because i haven't ate one single thing all day today my house is a mess i had plans on doing a clean with me but i don't know if i'm gonna do that because that that video will be really, really long because I have a lot to clean. But anywho, um, yeah, just checking in. Um, coming in just to tell you guys hi. And it's hard getting back in the swing of vlogging. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Anybody gonna steal your car? Let's see. Good morning. It's a little later in the morning. That's why I'm a little bit, you know, more awake. Hi, you guys. Yeah, so good morning. I it's now 6 21 a.m and i am having my starbucks stop and got me a little refresher i really went to get me a breakfast sandwich um just because i ate dinner really early last night and i know i did not chip back in with you guys um what are you fighting over these spots uh, yeah, that's why I'm, I like to get here early because I'm not that fight about my breakfast spots. <laughs> anyway, um, I just did not feel good yesterday, and on top of my um, stomach hurting, I had a little bit of a migraine. So yeah, I just honestly, um, I honestly just relaxed yesterday. And I always beat myself up and I guess I will forever beat myself up um, just because I I don't like to do I just don't like to be at home doing nothing so I like to be as productive as positive as possible especially with me just being at the end and needing to finish school as successfully as possible but anyway um, today's another work day. I have no idea what's going on at work. Um, because when I texted my friend yesterday, um, we had one too many nurses, so she floated to mom baby. So, I'm not sure how busy it was in pediatrics or PQ. So, we shall see when we go in. So, hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you sometime later. I'm going to try to do a, a midday lunch check-in. Um... I probably will because it's like 50 degrees this morning so that means it's gonna be really nice around lunchtime so I'll probably just come out and get me some fresh air get a little Sun and just check in and let you guys know how the day is going where I ended up and things like that so I will see you guys later orangey when I get home there we go now it's over it's, okay anyway that's just gonna have to work hi you guys so guess what I came home to I'm excited to show you Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. 
I'm gonna pull it in in just a second. Um, I need to sign on to a meeting really fast. Um, so we have a nurse practice council. And what that is, is our nurse practice council. Basically, it's a nurse-led council and it's where you work on protocols and procedures um, to make your unit better. So you come up with projects and ideas that you guys want to bring to the unit to make um, you know your unit better. Right now, we're working on new whiteboards um, and a whiteboard our patient whiteboards, you go in, you put pretty much who's the team, what's the plan, and we're just trying to make it specific for our unit. Um, other things we have worked on is um, work on a parent um, parent visitor visitation packet and what our, our rules are for our unit and just other things to make the um, your day, your work life a little better specifically for your unit. Like what do you think we need to do to make, um, you know, work better, easier, safe, uh, more safe for our patients. So I want to log into this meeting and then but my work day was pretty good today It's so crazy how pediatric senses go up and down up and down up and down, but I am thankful for today um, Today's senses because I have not been sleeping well uh, this last week um, And today we had a total of three patients on the floor one in the PICU and we sent two home um, I started off with one patient, ended up with um, zero patient. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was pretty much how my day went. And it was another appy, um, a laparoscopic appendectomy. And those are pretty easy peasy because honestly, um, getting your appendix taken out is an outpatient procedure. It just depends on like if you come to the hospital acutely and what time they can get you to surgery is on, on when we can get you out. So yeah, work was a breeze, but I am glad today that we had the nurse practice council meeting so I could talk to you a little about that. Most hospitals have nurse practice councils and like I said, it is a, um, it's supposed to be governed by nurses and the nurses of the unit. And um, like I said, you work on um, different um, projects to make your work um, your patient's environment better and um, safer. Um, and that's, you know, pretty much all it is. We meet monthly, um, talk about what changes we wanna make on a unit. I used to be a co-chair of our um, nurse practice council, but when school got busy, then of course I started YouTube and um, clinical, pretty much because I started clinical and, and I'm doing clinical basically as a full-time job in addition to my full-time job and then having to work on nurse practice council outside of, you know, my regular work hours um, was, you know, beginning to be a bit much um, for me. But I do encourage you once you do become a nurse, if you are not yet a nurse, um, to inquire about your nurse practice council. And if you don't um, have a nurse practice council, maybe consider starting one because I really think the idea behind a nurse practice council is um, very, is very good. Um, and it could be very productive and very meaningful for the patients, you know, if you have, um, a a nurse led or um council um that speaks up for the patients um because as nurses you guys know we are patient advocates and um we have to advocate for what's best for our patients no matter you know what the doctor says no matter what the family says the nurse kind of is that go between you know to do what's safest and what's right for the patient um, and that's pretty much all the nurse practice council is. Um, it's really great, like I said, um, to be a part of. Happy Friday. So unfortunately, due to a series of unfortunate events and a medical emergency, I was not able to go to clinic on Friday, but I did have footage of the office that we've been working in for the last few weeks. Every Friday, I've been in this office seeing patients 
and I just wanted to show you guys a really quick tour of it and just how cute it was and you know just the workspace that I've been working in seeing patients as a pediatric nurse practitioner student isn't it cute but as always thank you guys for tuning in to Janine's journey make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you leave any comments you have down below and make sure you subscribe bye call you guys later all right love you love you bye bye oh look yeah all right y'all start sitting up that plate and put the colors in the